In World War II, the Allied command was determined to destroy the Norwegian plant that produced heavy water, a substance essential to German nuclear research. A Moment in Time with Dan Roberts. The Norsk Hydro Factory near the Norwegian town of Vermork was located high on one side of a valley surrounded by minefields and treacherous cliffs. Aerial bombing was considered too dangerous to local Norwegians who worked there. A British commando raid failed when, in November 1942, two gliders towed by Halifax bombers filled with explosives and soldiers got lost and crashed in the snow-covered mountains. The survivors were eventually captured, tortured by the Gestapo, and shot. It was then decided that an advanced team of Norwegians sent in to prepare the way for the first raid and who had not been captured would become the core of a much smaller all-Norwegian attempt to blow up the plant. In late January 1943, five Norwegians parachuted into southern Norway. They hooked up with the advance party that only barely had survived one of the bitterest Norwegian winters in memory, scaled the previously thought impassable slopes and attacked the plant from below. Taking the German guards completely by surprise, they destroyed the equipment and escaped. However, in August 1943, word came from Norwegian underground agents employed in the factory that the Germans, after vigorous repair efforts, were once again producing heavy water at the plant. In desperation, Allied bombers attacked the plant and did considerable but not fatal damage. But the bombing raid convinced the Germans that they could no longer rely on the Norsk plant. After the war, German scientist Kurt Diebner testified that the elimination of Norwegian heavy water production was the main factor in the failure of German atomic research. The sacrificial service of the raiders had paid off. At the University of Richmond, I'm Dan Roberts.